What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. As you can see, today we are not at my favorite little creek, but instead we're at one of my favorite watering holes here guys. We're actually here to do a little bit of carp fishing today. The old creek has been getting tough. The heat of the summer, that water is rising. But guys, we've got a big local reservoir here that's full of big fish. And today we're looking for some carp. So go ahead and stick around and let's see what happens. Alrighty guys, time to make up a little bit of pack bait for these old carp. I'm going to start off with a whole bag of grits. Carp absolutely loves these things. Dump them in our bucket right there, just like that. Breadcrumbs or panko, they're both about the same. Right there, a bunch of breadcrumbs. Go them on in. A little bit of sweet corn. And my secret recipe, guys, some good old Mountain Dew. Open that sucker up, pour just a little bit in there, and that's it. Give it a stir, pack it on your hook, easy peasy. Alrighty, guys, all you need to do now is just reach into your bucket here. I always recommend reaching in from the bottom. And just grab you out a little chunk like that right there, and just pack it in your hand. Now what I like to do is I like to hold him over my bucket, make him flat as a pancake here, and I'm just going to mold him right around my old hook here. Now when it comes to bait guys, there are several options. You can use the whole, kernel, the whole kernel corn, but I like to use these old pop cereal right here. Grab us out a couple of these old pop cereals here. They're kind of tricky to hook, but once you get them on there, you're good to go. And I like to top that off with a couple pieces of corn, just to make sure that it stays down there. Them old pops will disintegrate after a while, so it's not a bad idea to have a little bit of corn on your hook as back up there. There we go, guys. Easy peasy. And you just bomb him on out there. There we go. Pretty good cast. Let that sucker sink hit the bottom. And that's it, guys. We're carp fishing. We'll go ahead and bait the rest of our rods, and I'll catch you guys if we get a hit. Got him on, guys. Heck yeah. Oh, big one. Gotta make our way back here and get our net. Did not take long. Not a super big one, but he's a good one. Oh, he popped us off right there. Oh, he popped the hook right there. No break offs, but that was our first bite of the day, guys, right there. Heck yeah, that was a nice one too to start off. All righty, guys, got all of our rods out. We got a pack bait over here to the right, two with just corn, and then two down there with pack bait. We had a bite on that third one down from over there, and he bit just the corn. So we re rigged it, bombed it back out there. Hopefully, we can get another one and get him in the net for you guys to see him. All right, let that little sucker rip. Just feed him line, take him on out there to Narnia. You take him out there at a bit of an angle. Remember a stump right here is the edge of our bait line. Oh. To our left right here. Little old boats are taking off out through there. Oh, he's out there a ways now. We reckon about 75 yards right now. Pushing on 80. 
I don't even know if the GoPro can see him way out there. Gosh, he's out there. You gonna go ahead and dump? All right. I popped it off. Yep, you did. Yep, he was still on there. You good now? You mean go set him in your rod pod? Yeah. While you do that? Before somebody comes by and runs him over. That would suck, wouldn't it? Some butthead in a bass boat sees it and just comes and runs it over just for the spite of it. Oh, he played you, didn't he? There he was, right there jumping. The one that was way out there, dude. It was a good take, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Well, shoot. Red, baby. They're playing us, ain't they? Yeah, they are. That's all right. We'll get them. Digging. Come on, Bruce, grab me a net, bud. We got him on, guys. Heck yeah. He don't even know he's hooked. Pack baiting corn. There he goes. He knows he's hooked now, boy. That's a big boy. That's an old big. Oh, dude, he's so wrapped up. No, he's just wrapped up. Woo, baby. Yeah, go ahead. Woo. He said, hold up. <laughs> Wear shoes. <laughs> Boots. I'll net him. Oh, I got it. Dude, this is a big one. Yeah. I mean, he's not super big, but. It's a, you know, it looks like a grass carp. Oh, it is. It's not the biggest grass carp that they come in this lake, but I mean, he's a. He's a. I got some bigger than that. That's a decent sized grass carp. He's a good one, man. He's gonna turn, take another run. Yeah. He will. You got him pretty good hook. Yeah. Right where you want it. Oh. He didn't like the touch of that net, did he? He did not, no. <laughs> He's a big fish though. He's a good one. Yeah. He's what I came after. Prehistoric dinosaur looking thing. Come here, buddy. Got him. Woo. <laughs> High five, bro. Yeah. Go get the sling, man. So can... All right, where's that? Bag. There you go. Yeah, sweet. It's right here. All right. That's what I'm talking about, baby. It's a big one. <laughs> A grass carp they were stocked in this lake a few years ago to help uh to help with the grass overgrowth you want to get a weight on him yeah i'm gonna guess 25 23.2 so probably about 22 23.2 sweet Oh, there he goes. He's happy. There he goes on back strong. <laughs> yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir.
Well, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's little adventure. Rain's moving in. Good old weekend warriors have got the old lake covered up with big waves. But all in all, guys, not a bad day. We managed to get two carp. One of them was an absolute monster, and we got him in the net. Caught several of these little shells just like this guy here. And uh, all in all, guys, not too bad of a day. Had a ton of fun out here switching it up and doing something different. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you smash that like button. And leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite species of fish is to target while you're not out on the old trout water. But get out if you can, boys and girls. Do yourself some fishing. Have some fun. But most importantly, be safe and tight lines.